Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we have iPadOS 26 Beta 4, and I'm happy to report this is easily the most stable and performant of all of the betas so far. Now you'd expect that because we are expecting the iPadOS 26 public beta to drop really any day now, and this is probably going to be the same build or very close to it. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into what's changed. You may remember all the way back to two weeks ago with Beta 3, how people were freaking out because Apple had decreased some of the transparency on some of the liquid glass effects. Well, it turns out Apple has and will continue to iterate on the design throughout the rest of the beta. And so now we have a return of a lot of transparency throughout the system. And you can see this in this comparison between Beta 3 and Beta 4 in apps like Music, in apps like podcasts, you can see this in the toolbar and mail, or even apps with the sidebar like settings. If you look towards the top, it's a bit more transparent. I think Apple is getting closer to a nice middle ground that can hopefully keep legibility while not totally removing all the cool liquid glass effects. You may remember about, I don't know, six months ago or so, where Apple got in some hot water with some news agencies over how the notification summaries in Apple Intelligence were butchering news articles and creating headlines that were inaccurate. That feature got pulled in iPadOS 18.3 and now is returning in Beta 4. For me, it was actually part of the onboarding when I updated, but you can also go into settings and notifications and turn this on or off yourself. So when you go through the notification summary approval, if you select on news, I'm just taking a minute to accept my tap, you now get this warning here, basically letting you know that this may be inaccurate. Hopefully Apple's made some improvements in their models to make this less of an issue, but I guess we'll just see over time. Beta 4 adds a new dynamic option for the default wallpaper on iPadOS 26. It's actually kind of fun. It's nothing too crazy, but having your lock screen be a little more lively is always kind of fun. If you go to the first option here, which is the dynamic one, you'll see it just circles through the different colors and variations you'll see as you're unlocking your iPad throughout the day. The Silence Unknown Caller setting in the phone app gets expanded with a few new options. What was previously just a single toggle gets a little more granularity. Never, which basically lets any unsaved numbers through. Asked reason for calling, which again will prompt the caller to provide information about why they're calling before the phone rings you. Or Silence, where you just never get bothered by unknown callers and they get sent right to voicemail. That's really all there is to Beta 4. There's no sign of a couple of things I've been personally tracking, which would be a setting to allow slide over apps in the full screen apps multitasking setting, and still no sign of a working eject option in the Files app. I feel like this is just taunting me by being here, so hopefully it gets enabled in the next couple of betas. That's gonna do it for this video. Make sure to like the video if you did and subscribe for more iPad related content. With that, I will catch you in the next one. Thank you for your time and take care.